In the United States alone, fires in commercial kitchens cause tens of millions of dollars in direct property damage every year. And sadly, many of these fires involve injury and even death. To combat these potentially dangerous events, fire suppression systems were developed to protect your employees, your customers, and your cooking equipment. This has been a crucial development for restaurant owners across the globe. Still, as you look at the various systems available to fight and prevent fires, how do you decide which is the best fit for your restaurant? Reading specifications and comparing claims by manufacturers can be a daunting and confusing task. Fortunately, standards for safety have been developed in many countries worldwide, which ensure that claims made by manufacturers are accurate and reliable. Having accredited third-party standards assures you that the systems meet minimum test criteria and provides you with a means to compare the quality of one fire suppression system to another. Established standards and testing methods ensure that a system meets real-world hazard protection requirements, keeping system manufacturers responsible and accountable. Independent, accredited third-party establishments such as Underwriters Laboratories in the United States and others worldwide offer the testing and analysis that lead to safety standard approval. So why is it important that these third-party organizations do the ratings? Third-party approvals ensure that the same tests are performed in the same manner each time in order to provide manufacturers with an objective, unbiased evaluation. Standardized performance testing and evaluation by an accredited approval agency establishes engineering guidelines for all restaurant fire suppression systems. The effectiveness of fire suppression products on the market can and does vary widely. Without such safety standards for design and testing of these systems, making a decision on which system to purchase would be overwhelming and confusing. The vast array of cooking appliances available today with their diverse cooking processes and differing levels of risk, requires specialized testing according to the operating characteristics of the different appliance types. This results in a more robust design for a particular appliance, as well as agent-saving protection schemes on other appliances. A general fire protection scheme that focuses only on fryers may not satisfy safety needs for kitchen personnel or protection for other cooking appliances. Without standardized testing and third-party ratings, there is no objective way of knowing which products on the market could be less effective than others, or not effective at all for a particular application. Performance-tested systems have been proven to put out fires under a standardized test criteria, criteria which account for worst-case conditions and fire scenarios. Perhaps one of the most recognized names in third-party testing in the United States is Underwriters Laboratories Incorporated, UL for short. Headquartered in Northbrook, Illinois, UL has been testing products and writing safety standards for more than a century. They develop standards and test procedures for products, materials, tools, and equipment, and deal primarily with product safety. UL evaluates more than 19,000 types of products, components, and systems annually and is approved for such testing by OSHA in the United States. When pre-engineered fire suppression systems were originally developed, UL designed a regimen of fire tests intended to duplicate the potential fire conditions found in restaurant kitchens. These tests established specific requirements to determine the effectiveness of the extinguishing agent, nozzle coverage, piping, and other components of the system. The testing was originally designed for systems that primarily used lard in frying, but with changes that subsequently took place in the restaurant industry, it became necessary to revise and modernize the standards and testing requirements. Lard was substantially replaced by vegetable oils and low trans fat oils which burn at significantly higher temperatures than animal fats. Lard typically auto ignites at temperatures that exceed 315 degrees Celsius, while oils used in frying can auto ignite at temperatures as high as 370 degrees Celsius and higher. In addition, restaurants began to adopt the use of newly introduced energy-efficient appliances. Energy-efficient cooking appliances are better insulated, causing superheated oils to retain heat for a longer period of time. This results in additional challenges in suppressing a fire and keeping a fire from reigniting. In 1994, 
In response to these changing kitchen environments, Underwriters Laboratories issued the UL300 standard for testing systems designed for modern restaurants. It was discovered that equipment that may have met the earlier test requirements was no longer adequate. While some of these systems could still extinguish the initial fires, dry chemical fire suppression in particular did not provide the cooling needed to permanently and safely prevent reignition. In fact, no dry chemical system has ever passed the new testing standard, nor have most water-only systems been able to meet the standard. Water-only systems rely on cooling the burning products to a point where they can no longer sustain fire. This process generally requires much more time to suppress the fire. Only wet chemical systems with higher agent capacity and additional flow points have been able to meet the demands of UL300. The challenges set by UL300 have resulted in standards that are much more difficult to meet, but which dramatically improve the safety conditions in real-world restaurant operations. The UL300 standard is only one of the many standards that Ansel fire suppression systems meet. Ansel restaurant fire suppression systems meet safety standard requirements of independent approval bodies worldwide. The primary standard in the European Union is the Pressure Equipment Directive, which was adopted by the European Parliament and the European Council in 1997. Known as the PED, this was set up to standardize the national laws of the European Union countries relative to the design, manufacture, testing, and assessment of pressurized equipment and assemblies. The PED requires that pressure equipment and assemblies are safe and meet essential safety requirements for design, manufacture, and testing. It also requires that equipment carry a CE marking certifying that the product has met European Union consumer health, safety, and environmental requirements. Ansel products also meet the LPS 1223 requirements in the United Kingdom relevant to fixed fire extinguisher systems for restaurant cooking and catering equipment. The objective of LPS 1223 is to evaluate the effectiveness and reliability of equipment used in suppressing fires for these applications. Ansel systems have also garnered a broad array of marine application approvals. This assortment of tests, requirements and approvals may seem excessive, but our goal in achieving and maintaining these extensive safety standards is to ensure reliability and safety, improve quality and performance while saving you money and ultimately saving property and lives. Standards for safety are a reliable way to provide you with an objective resource for making an educated decision when purchasing fire suppression products. With our exhaustively performance tested products approved by accredited independent bodies worldwide, you can rest assured that Ansel Systems will provide you with the most effective and reliable restaurant fire suppression on the market today. So, rely on the most trusted brand name in restaurant kitchen fire suppression worldwide. Choose Ansel.